Science. Okay, this is the cable testing project. And in this project, we are going to take this TS cable, and which is actually uh, two cables put together, and make sure that both cables are carrying current properly. And to do that, we're going to make a complete circuit out of it, and in that circuit, we're going to have this LED. And if everything works properly, this LED should light up, and if it doesn't, there is a problem with your circuit. Uh, or cable. Um, so we're going to start with a 9 volt battery and uh, I did pre-testing and I was only able to get this to work with these three 9 volt batteries all hooked together but that's only because these batteries are really old and don't have a whole lot of charge left. So if you're using new batteries it shouldn't be necessary. So I'm hooking these two up like this and then like this. So all of them are hooked up positive and negative. So it's basically just one big power source. And yeah. okay. So to start the circuit, I'm gonna send. Um, I'm going to connect one alligator clip to the positive end of the battery to a tip of the TS cable. And then at the other end of the TS cable, I'm going to send an alligator clip from this tip to the sleeve of the same end maybe and so now we have flow from the battery to the tip to the sleeve and now I'm going back to the very first end connect from the sleeve to the positive end of the LED which is either the side with the longer stem of the two or with the rounded edge which you can't see but there's a rounded edge and then there's a flat edge the rounded edge is positive and the flat edge is negative so connect it to the positive end and from the negative end connect it to a resistor and the resistor will just limit the current so it doesn't make your LED explode or do bad things. And yeah. and now if you touch this end of the resistor to the negative end of your battery you should have a complete circuit and the LED should light up if there's nothing wrong with your TS cable. So here's the light. I'm touching it now. And I'm not getting any light. Um, I'm not sure why. I did pre-testing before with everything hooked up the exact same way and it was working and then the last pretest it stopped working and I just got fed up and decided to do the video I did it the exact same way I am not really sure what's wrong uh, but I think the batteries just might be out of juice so not enough power to light up the LED but basically I'm sending well, we're just gonna look at this as just a bad one giant battery sending positive flow to the tip the first cable and the TS cable sending it all the way through the TS cable to the other tip from that tip I'm sending it to the sleeve which is the second cable 
in the TS cable, which is going all the way back around again to this sleeve. So it's making the, its way through both, cap both parts of the TS cable. And that's going to the positive end of the LED. And then from through the LED to the resistor, which this is a 330 ohm resistor, so it should uh, not be too strong. It should be strong enough. And then connecting that to the battery. And that should complete the circuit and light it up, but it's not. And I think the batteries are just dying. So yeah, science has failed me.